that's what it is, right? It's hot. Don't touch the food. It's really yeah, it's hot. hot. So that's the not high efficiency part. No, of it? it's. This is probably. It's yeah, it's getting there, huh? Mm -hmm. This is probably a hundred and something degrees right now. Oh. All the temperatures going outside. Hundred. Maybe more. What yeah, do you think? It's way more than hundred. Yeah. Hundred eighty. Burn my hand. But so. On the high efficiency, they're completely designed differently. Gotcha. This is... Just an older system. Yeah, yeah. See, this is sucking it all back in. Yeah. Yeah, it's pumping out hot water now. It's nice. That's a little... Uh oh don't touch that. Hot? No, it's leaking. It's oh. leaking and it's old. See it? Yeah. The hot water. It's expanding the hot wa water water in here now. The water heater works, though, yeah? Oh, I'm sure it does. They're, these are bulletproof. I mean, honestly. I mean, once they up and run and they stay running. But, why put a boiler in here when you're going to... You could put forever hot water, too. You know? You put a little bit bigger boiler in. And then do what, like instant heat or instant hot water heater? Is that what you're saying? No, or? it won't be instant, but it will be, that'll, that runs out of hot water. <coughs> yeah, it's like 40 gallons, I think is what yeah. you said. So if you put a boiler in here with a, you know, a 70, 60 gallon um, heat exchange hot water heater, they'll, they'll never run out of hot water again. So you can take as many showers as you want. Shower all day long. All day long. That'd be so fun. Yeah. Um, okay. And again, it's like if it's working, you know, I don't know. It's just good for them to know, I think, too, for the future if um, they want to set aside a budget for upgrading. Of course. Yep. Yeah. And the flu pipe, I, I've already looked at, the flu pipe could go right off this top of this eave. It would just have to go past the eave. Okay. So you see how low the eave is? You can step them out right there. I think the code here is 11 feet. From the ground, everything. Yeah. Well, the snow load. Yeah. Yeah. So your boil, the flu pipe has to be 11 feet above the ground, and I think that's really close. I know. I was gonna say I don't think that's 11 feet. What do you think that is? It's close. What? How? It's really close. How much does it have to be underneath the top of the eave, though? Oh no, we can. We're gonna. We uh, stub it out right below it. Oh. Stub out right below it with the flu pipe. Okay. I think that would be fine, and then your intake would be close to the edge. Turn that heat too, so it's not blowing right in the heat. It's hot. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of ridiculous too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we put a new one in. I said it wouldn't be a big deal. No, you have the gas here. You have, I mean, look at the size of gas already here. So. Is that big? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You wouldn't have to run new gas. You wouldn't have to do anything. So to get this hole fixed. It's up and running. Yeah. Would I be able to feel it in the registers now, or does it still it's take a baseboard? Yeah. Yeah. 